Hello everyone, my name is Elias Perez and I'm here today to share with you some historical information on Copps Hill Burial Grounds located in Holster in Boston, Massachusetts. It is the second oldest burial ground in Boston. Originally, this burial ground was the land to shoemaker William Copp in 1659, later donated it to the town of Boston for burial use. Serving as the Revolutionary Burial Ground, after the revolution held about 10,000 people total. Shem John was a waterway maker who died on January 13, 1774. He was responsible to the creation of the Golden Grasshopper water vein found today on the top of Faneuil and Prince Hall. The grasshopper was created in 1774 prior to his death. It is still staying today after 241 years. The water vein is within 12 minutes walk from here. Peter Faneuil was a wealthy merchant. Faneuil paid for the construction of the Golden Water Vein at the top of the Faneuil and Prince Hall buildings. Copps Hill Cemetery was the final resting place of primarily rich traders. This was during the time of the water vein's creation. A famous black man, Prince Hall, was buried here as well. He was born in 1738 and died on December 4, 1807. He was the founder of the Black Masonic Order and wanted blacks and whites to have equal access to education. Mr. Hall worked diligently to ensure that African Americans had social, political, and economic freedom. Due to this, blacks and whites were buried at Cops. However, they were buried segregated. This demonstrated that blacks and whites did not have the same rights, even though Prince Hall put so much effort into their cause. Buried at Cops Hill also was Sexton Robert Newman. This important man was born March 20, 1752 and died on May 26, 1804, at the approximate age of 69 years old. Newman placed the lanterns in the Old Norwich Church in the year of April 18, 1775. The church is within a two-minute walk, two walk from Copps Hill Cemetery. Robert Newman's great-grandfather was executed due to him being suspected of witchcraft, and Newman's father died when Newman was only two years old. Later on in his life, pretending to retire to his room at night, Newman snuck out undetected by British officers and lit the lanterns in the Old Norwich Church during Power Viewers, famous as well as Midnight, fateful midnight ride. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for listening to my presentation on Copsville in Boston. I hope you enjoy your visit here at Copsville Burial Ground. Bye.